here. I was just getting ready to listen to one of my favorite albums. I love music, and I'm often really inspired by music to make my art. The painter William T. Williams is really inspired by jazz music, and today we're going to get inspired by William T. Williams to make our very own William T. Williams drawing. Get ready, here's what you're going to need. William T. Williams is an American painter. He is an abstract artist, which means his paintings communicate ideas and concepts using lines, shapes, and color. His paintings express the energy of New York City, the rhythm of jazz, and the colorful quilts of his childhood town in North Carolina. You can choose to work with your paper portrait style up and down or landscape style across like this. Either one is fine. I am going to work portrait style today. Go ahead and choose a colored pencil. William T. Williams uses a really bright outline to his geometric shapes and lines. So I'm going to choose a bright colored pencil to outline all of my shapes and lines on my paper first. You can choose any bright colored pencil you have. I'm also going to need my ruler handy because first we're going to start off making a big quadrilateral on our paper. A quadrilateral is a four-sided shape. So we're going to go from one side of our paper to the other side, making a straight line that reaches from edge to edge of our paper. It doesn't matter where, as long as it goes from one edge to another. I'm going to do the same thing across this way, going from that end of the line to another edge of my paper. I'm going to meet up with the end of this line and draw a line that goes all way to the edge down here and then I'm going to connect these two lines to see that I have made a four-sided shape on my paper that reaches all the way to each edge of my paper. It's a quadrilateral but I'm going to go ahead and make it thick. I'm going to add another quadrilateral inside of this one. I'm going to draw another line that doesn't go all the way to the edge here because what I'm doing is basically creating like a big picture frame. Another line going this way and it's okay if these lines aren't perfectly parallel to the other ones, that's fine. And there we go. So now we can start adding geometric and organic shapes and lines to our drawing in and around this main quadrilateral. I noticed that William T. Williams uses a lot of trapezoids in his work. So what I'm going to do to create my trapezoid is draw a line, another line over here across the corner of my page that goes from the edge to the edge. So in order to create a trapezoid here, I'm going to need to draw two lines that kind of angle in towards the middle of my paper. So I'm using my ruler or my straight edge to really make sure these lines are nice and neat and straight. If you notice in William T. Williams's artwork, a lot of it is really neat and clean and precise. So look, we've created a trapezoid over here. Let's make another one, maybe a little bit skinnier this time. So another line. See how it's really close to this line here? And then I'm going to draw two more lines coming in like this to make that trapezoid. Great job. I'm going to do the same thing over here in this big space. I'm going to cut off this corner with a line. And then I'm going to draw two lines coming in to make a trapezoid. I'm going to make another one over here. 
make sure to hold that ruler down really nice and tight so your line is nice and straight. If yours does not look exactly like mine, that's okay. It doesn't need to look exactly like mine because we're just getting inspired by William T. Williams. And so our artwork shouldn't be copying his, but rather emulating his artwork. That means we're getting ideas from his artwork to learn how to create our own. You learn other artists' ideas and how they work by emulating their artwork. And then that's how you can grow as an artist and master your craft and get better and figure out who you are as an artist. What's your unique voice? Okay, we've made lots of these trapezoids. Let's add some lines. I'm going to create a line that goes all the way across my page. So I'm going to hold my ruler nice and straight and create a line, but I'm going to stop there at that line. I'm going to hop, draw my line, stop and hop. So now, as you can see, that line is going back behind this big quadrilateral. I'm going to do that again. I'm gonna make another line, hold my ruler down, draw my line and stop, hop, draw, stop, hop, and draw the rest of that line. So now that line looks like it's going back behind my big quadrilateral. I'm wondering if there's another geometric shape I can draw. What about a triangle? So I'm gonna use my ruler again, and I'm gonna draw a triangle, but my triangle is going to be, again, it's gonna go back behind this quadrilateral. So there's one edge of my triangle. And again, yours does not have to look like mine. I'm just giving you some ideas of some shapes you might want to add to your William T. Williams drawing. And then here's another line here. So look, I've created a triangle kind of floating in space back behind this big quadrilateral. We are doing a lot of overlapping. How about another triangle maybe over here? also might want to add some circles in our composition also. So I just found some random lids and let's see, I think this might be a good spot for a circle. So I'm going to draw my circle and that's the outside of my circle. And I can use a smaller lid for the inside of my circle. Go ahead and add circles wherever you want. I might even stop and start at certain points to make it look like it's really overlapping. I'm going to add some more of these dynamic diagonal lines through the background. They'll give my artwork a lot of energy. I think I'm going to add some of these wavy lines in here too. That's definitely going to give it a lot of visual rhythm. So for every line that I draw, I'm giving it a twin line right next to it that runs parallel. Maybe there's one back here behind this triangle. I like how William T. Williams would add some tiny little triangles or some small little segments onto his artwork. So I think I'm gonna go back in mine and add in some little lines and some little triangles wherever I want to. <laughs> Okay, I think I really like the way that looks. I'm ready to add some color with my markers. Whenever I'm using markers and I know that my marker is going to go off the edge of my page, I like to use a messy mat. 
Now I'm gonna use my markers, whatever colors I want, to neatly fill in each space, making sure that I'm being really nice and neat with my marker. Notice how I'm going in nice, neat, straight lines and not just scribbling here, there, and everywhere. such a blast creating my artwork inspired by the artwork of the amazing William T. Williams. I hope you had fun making your artwork also. Remember, when you're creating, the possibilities are endless. <laughs>